Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a super quick update video. I, I gotta do the quotes because like I want it to be super quick but so much has happened that it's like it's like logically impossible for this to actually be super quick. I know I feel like my last video was an update video but honestly life just it just keeps happening and I don't even know I don't even know where time has gone. It's been like a solid three months since I filmed. And trust me when I say I have felt that. I have felt that. But I am hoping, praying, <laughs> that this is it. No more breaks, I'm hoping. You're probably thinking like, yeah, okay, you just said that like three months ago and here we are again in the exact same boat. But it's not the exact same boat. And I will tell you why. Something that I did not mention in my previous update video was that my entire house was being remodeled and I don't mean renovated I don't mean that because there's a difference my entire house was being remodeled like it does not even look like the house that it used to look like before like at all so that kind of took up a lot of time for a while we moved in with my brother and he has just like it basically like a tiny studio apartment so we were the three of us well the four of us if you're including milkshake so me Elver, my husband Alana my daughter in case anybody doesn't know and milkshake my dog we were all just like cooped up in one little corner of this studio apartment for like I would say a couple of weeks then we moved back into the house and basically what was done was it was turned from like an enormous six bedroom house that my mom owned and she I mean she still owns obviously <laughs> um but it was basically turned from that into two separate apartments, like a mother-daughter kind of a situation. I, I mean, yeah, it's definitely a mother-daughter house now, I would say. Um, so our apartment has two bedrooms and one bathroom and a kitchen and all that. And then her apartment has four bedrooms and a bathroom and a kitchen. No, actually, she has two bathrooms and a kitchen and blah, 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 whatever. So that's the main thing. And that took a very long time. It took way longer than anybody expected and there's still like like this much that has to be done but for the for the most part it's all done it's all decorated everything is done the only thing that I have not gotten yet is I need to fix the lights in my bedroom this is my bedroom by the way my my new and improved bedroom um, I need to fix the lights in my bedroom and I bought a new chair for me to sit down and do my makeup because this chair is super old and raggedy thankfully you don't see it but it's ugly. I haven't really decided where I'm going to be filming now. I mean, before I used to just live in my mom's house in my one little bedroom. And Alana had her own room, of course. But now that it's my own apartment, I feel like I have a lot more space and freedom. But I still don't know where I would be able to film. I don't know. This is obviously not going to be permanent. This is just like some random corner. This is my bed right here. These are my nail polishes. My makeup collection is all right there. So, I'm not sure where I'm going to film, but I figure for today, for an update video, this is good enough. Also, please do not judge my appearance. I did this makeup at like 6 o'clock in the morning, and I don't even know what time it is. Let's ask Siri. Hey Siri. What time is it? It's 6.24 p.m. So I've had this makeup on for like 12 hours. I did go to work with this makeup, by the way, and I am... I'm obsessed and I'm surprised that nobody said like what what is that <laughs> and this is why we built our own apartment okay thank you so much you built <laughs> okay I'm sorry this is why my mom built an apartment for us thank you so much you cut that out. do you feel better I'm not gonna cut that up I told you to wait you didn't wait so you want you guys all you saw want, her, right? You want my butt? <laughs> yeah. Your video? Hell yeah. You saw that? So that's like the main reason that I haven't been able to do anything. That plus I got a full-time job. Last time that I spoke to you guys, I think I had a part-time job. I believe I had a part-time job. But I got promoted at my job, so now I became full-time. And it is just taking up all of my life. It is so hard, okay? So hard. It is just so hard to be a working mom in general. So anybody who is a working mom, like, so many kudos to you. You are the best. I just don't understand how people do it. I mean, I've been 
full-time for two months now which is nothing obviously and Alana is gonna be one next month which I can't even understand okay but that's besides the point <laughs> Um, and it's just so hard. I feel like I'm never spending time with her. That's why pretty much as soon as I get home from work, I am just like obsessed with her. I'm just like on her at all times. Like, don't try to talk to me because it's just me and Alana all day, every day. Just so happens that my mom took Alana right now. So I was like, oh great, I can film an update real quick. I would love some advice for anybody who is a working mom. How do you deal with the guilt? How do you make time for everything? Because that is really my main issue right now is making time for everything, including filming course um I should also mention my hair last time you guys saw me my hair was straight very very long it was probably well past my nipple area that's like I always judge by my boobs I'm like oh my hair is long as soon as it touches my nipple I'm like yes <laughs> but anyways it was definitely past that area and now it is clearly not I did cut my hair and it is curly my hair is naturally curly. I think I've spoken about this several times before, but my hair is naturally curly, but I never liked my hair curly, so I always, always went to the hair salon every single week to get it straightened, and I'm not doing that anymore. Basically, I am, like, embracing my naturally curly hair. I have not gone to the hair salon in two months. I have not straightened my hair in two months. I have left it curly, and I am using, like you know, sulfate, silicone, paraben, all that stuff, free products. The reason that I decided to do this was two months ago, I went to the hair salon and I had somewhere to go, I think, the next day. So I needed my hair to look good. I went to the hair salon and I only had two hours to spare. I had two hours. I didn't have two hours and two minutes. Two hours and one minute. Like, it was two hours. And I went to the hair salon and I cannot take a lot to the hair salon, by the way. Fun fact, I don't know anybody who has babies can relate to this. But Alana will sit there, there's a fly in here, Alana will sit there for about 20 minutes happily and the other hour and 40 minutes, she is not okay. You pick her up, she is not okay, it doesn't matter if she just ate, doesn't matter if her diaper was just changed, doesn't matter what is happening, she is just not okay. And for that reason, I cannot take her to the hair salon. So when I have somebody to watch her, it's usually for a very small period of time and so I had this day I think it was Elver my husband slash her father who was watching her he was watching her and I had two hours he had a meeting to go to and it was like no way he was gonna change his meeting so I can go to the hair salon like does that make any type of sense so I went to the hair salon and no shade to my hair salon I love that hair salon I think of those hairstylists as like some of my friends because I just love that hair salon. I always felt like very welcome and at home every time I went there. So please don't take this as any type of shade to my hair salon. But I went to my hair salon and there was only one girl working and there were so many people waiting. And I was just, I, I decided to wait for a little bit to see, you know, like, cause sometimes they go in like, they go out of order depending on what you're doing. I waited for about half an hour and she did not take me. And again, it was very busy. It's extremely understandable. I did not have the extra 30 minutes to wait so I left and I told her I was like you know I'm gonna come back because I honestly did think I was gonna come back um, but I just ended up never going back and I decided to leave my hair curly and I have not straightened my hair since then that was actually the end of June that that happened it was like June 20 like 6 or something like that I don't know so I have not straightened my hair since June 26 I cut my hair a lot <laughs> because I was leaving it curly and the ends were honestly just pinned straight it looked so dumb honestly I think it looks dumb now I'm not gonna lie to you I don't like the way my hair looks most most of the time right now I am on like day five hair or some crazy like amount of days that I seriously need to watch it but I was not gonna wake up early this morning to wash my hair so that just didn't happen I cut off a lot I actually went in expecting to cut off a lot because I knew that the ends of my hair were super straight out post a picture here I posted a picture on snapchat like maybe like two or three days before I actually did cut off those ends but they were super straight they looked so just not good and I've never been like obsessed with length or anything I don't care that much the only thing that I'm upset about is that I can't put my hair in a bun that's the only thing I care about but at the end of the day the hair is gonna grow we're all gonna live it's fine basically the only damage that my hair has right now it's it doesn't have bleach damage dye damage like no type of damage other than heat damage and the heat damage is only from a blow dryer and not even because I used to go under the little rollers and you know if you do that then your hair is like uh, healthier 
than if you were just to go in and blow dry your hair. Just, just saying. Not that my hair is healthy. I'm just saying. As of right now, I'm actually trying to keep my hair as healthy as possible. If you guys see me with straight hair in a video, you have... Shout out to my ringtone though. If you guys see me with my hair straight in a video, you have the right to call me out in the comments and leave really nasty names down there for me to read because I'm really trying and after all the money I spent on products, if I go back to straightening my hair, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. I don't know, am I like transitioning? Do I count as transitioning? I don't really know anything about curly hair, but I do know that my curls at the top of my head are super tight and curly and then down here it just gets so unattractive <laughs> just so ugly every time I look in the mirror I'm just like why is this my life there was actually a a pretty big chance that I was not gonna come back to YouTube at all and I, I really sat down and thought about this for pretty much the entire three months that I've been gone do I have time to do this because not only am I working and you know being a mom but I have so many other things going on like in my life I, I just really sat down and I thought about it like am I gonna have enough time to commit myself to doing this and the answer to be honest with you is no I don't have any time while my house was getting remodeled I didn't I didn't put makeup on for like a good solid two months like I went to work with no makeup on and like I don't care I'm one of those people who goes out without makeup like happily I'll go out with, with no makeup or I go out with a full beat I never go out with anything in between because of that I feel like I I kind of just like lost a little bit of my passion for makeup and YouTube at the same time but let me tell you the first day like once my makeup area was set up which my makeup area is pretty extensive I'll leave my makeup collection video in the description box if you guys want to check that out it's like a good amount of stuff so to get it like all situated took a very long time like the entire house the entire apartment was done except for that for like a good amount of time once everything was situated I went in I washed all my brushes make sure everything was good the first time I put my makeup on I said what the what have I been doing I missed putting makeup on so much not only have I missed putting makeup on but I miss YouTube I miss keeping up with the makeup releases I miss I just miss it I am just I'm ready to be back and I might only be able to get like one video up a week maybe even I don't even know if it'll even be one video a week maybe one every 10 days or something like that but as long as I'm doing it I know that I'm gonna be happy even though I'll be a little bit more stressed, <laughs> which is like crazy because I'm really, I'm already really stressed. I feel like this was a super duper long video for no reason whatsoever, but I just kind of wanted to come on here, let you guys know where I've been, what's been going on with my life, what's been going on with me. If I have a chance to film, if I have somebody to watch Alana, because Alana has also become very like codependent, like obsessed with her parents really she is like all over us all the time so it's so hard for us to do anything even if we want to like clean around the house we'll put her in her playpen or her little swing or something and she's just not okay she's like pick me up that i think is all that i have to say if you guys have any questions or anything you want me to to film oh yes if you guys have suggestions for videos to film especially tutorials Please leave them in the description box. I mean, no, in the comments. I always do that, like, every single video. I'm so grateful for those of you who have been sticking through this with me. I know it's been, like, break after break after break. And I honestly did not plan any of these breaks. I just want this to be clear because if I, if I did plan them, there wouldn't be breaks because I would pre-film. But, you know, life happens. I think we need to, we need to recognize that life happens. And hopefully, hopefully, I'm done with the break. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video. And this is going to be another tutorial. And I am so clearly excited about it. You know what, I'm playing myself by not showing you guys this half cut crease that I did for work today. Can we just look at it? Can we just, can we just, it's bright pink. I will show you actually exactly what I use. This is the palette that I used today. 
This is the Be Perfect Carnival Palette in collaboration with Stacey Marie Makeup Artist. Let me show you the inside because you need to see this. This palette is like me. I, I swear this could be in collaboration with Katie Danger. It is so beautiful. Let me know if you guys actually want a tutorial on this. I could do that. I feel like I've done half cut creases a lot on my channel. But if you guys want to know about it, you will get it. But I just feel like I need to show you. Like, I am obsessed. You can see like how oily and gross I am because I've been wearing this makeup for 12 hours. <laughs> I just literally up, touched up the lip and like not even. That's kind of weird, but I don't care. Yeah, I just, I just feel like you guys need this. You get it. <laughs> Look at it. 